When you're looking at how to solve the greenhouse gas problem, and you look at the sources of greenhouse gases across the world, the vast majority are from burning coal or natural gas to make electricity. It's from burning natural gas to heat buildings. And yes, it's also about burning and using oil products in the transportation sector. We got to get rid of them all. That's the task. It's all about solving energy. This problem is so big, it isn't one thing or the other. It's going to take multiple sources. And so, how does ours fit in? Well, we make energy-dense liquids. We know that if we want a product adopted, we would design something that could be a direct drop-in to pipelines and pumps and tanks and existing engines without modification. You know what that means? You're making gasoline itself for cars. You're making jet fuel, that's real jet fuel, for airplanes. Or it's real diesel fuel for trucks, long-haul transport. And so we just lump those together and call them energy-dense liquids. And what we want to do, and have been doing, and we have the technology to do, is wipe out their carbon footprint on a full life cycle basis, from the capturing of the carbon through its production process, all the way till it's burned again and makes CO2. So it's kind of a circular economy idea, recycling carbon. Now liquid fuels can actually make a difference. We're bringing a story that the world hasn't seen before. We can make high-performing technical fuels to which we've wiped out the carbon footprint.